Is she okay? She's fine. May I see her? She's wonderful, isn't she? Yes. Thank you for looking after her. I said, don't play with your food, Norman. I, I, I'm sorry. Are you okay? You're behaving rather oddly today. I'm worried. About what? Well, mother, of course. Here we are, happily and healthily eating ourselves away by the... Why the poor old soul could be starving and shivering. I I can't leave her. Just imagine her all Norman! Over. Please. We have both done all we can to look after her. There's nothing more we can do. Just let it go. But I can't leave her there. Well, you're going to have to. How can you say that? Because, Norman. We have barely left this bloody B&B since the day she fell ill. And even then, it's just a big house for you to play her guardian. I've taken up an extra job to cater for you and your mother. Man should not have to fend for his mother. If anything, she should have taught you to fend for yourself. But she's fragile, Maggie. And so are you. Don't you understand? We could run this place together. A fresh start. I know you care for her, Norman, but wouldn't she want this for you too? I just want you to see that we have a whole life ahead of us. I just want to get into that little head of yours. And that you can see things my way. But, but I care for her, Mother. I mean nothing to you, do I? You are just going to leave me to rot. How could you say that? Face it. I'm nothing but a corpse to you. Mother, you, you will always be a part of me. You've been waiting for the perfect replacement for me. And now the time has come. That's not true. That's, that, that's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we currently have no vacancies. Oh, no, no, that's not why I'm here. I, I want to discuss your mother's welfare. 
Mrs. Bates. Yes. <laughs> what about what about her? Well, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Roger Anderson, district nurse manager of some council, and I'm here to provide guidance on your mother's future safety. Well, with her previous diagnosis of dementia, we understand she's a vulnerable woman. And since there's been no recent medical records and a system failure to respond to our notice letters, I thought I'd come down here and discuss these matters with you personally. We know you're a man with your mother's well-being close to your heart, and, which is why I want to discuss with you plans for a recommended referral to a care home where her well-being will be in the safest hands. I can assure you, Mr. Addison, she is in the safest of hands. Look, I, I understand your care and your loyalty to your mother, but well, we really think this is in your best interest. My best interest is that my mother stays here. But the conditions in a working B&B, well, it's not really a suitable environment for an elderly woman. But we're hardly full of clientele. I thought you said you had no vacancies. Well, of course, I mean... Especially of my, my mother's illness at stake, we're, we're hardly fit to open for business. I can assure you, Mr Bates, that she will only get worse without our help. Are you suggesting that I'm neglecting my mother? No, not at all. It's simply that, well, a busy man like yourself might not always have time for your mother's needs. I always have time for my mother. I'm not here to pin accusations, Mr Bates. I'm simply here to do my duty. I respect that. For I have a duty myself, to take care of my mother. I understand, but surely a duty should not develop into... Mr food. Anderson, I have everything under control. I shall be in touch again. I shall count down the days. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. I told you, I, I told you this day would come. They will not take you away, Mother. I, I won't let them. This was part of your little plan all along, wasn't it? You have me wheeled out against my will to Heaven's waiting room whilst you settled down with that whore. That's not true. Don't, don't talk about her like that. Think about it, Norman. All this time you'll be spending with your precious girlfriend. You won't have time for me anymore. I, I, I will always have time for you, Mother. Well then, prove it. If you really love me, then Maggie must go. Norman! I have ten minutes until my lunch break finishes. Can you at least tell me why I always find you in the graveyard? So I... So I don't feel so alone. But you're in a graveyard. <laughs> exactly. I don't understand. This is the only place I feel alive. A place where lives are celebrated beyond their demise. I feel that positive energy, Maggie. I like to think that death really isn't the end. But everything dies, Norman. Not memory. Memory lives on. What are you trying to say? Look around you, Maggie. Do you think these graves are here just to label corpses? They're here to remember to remind you of the influence they had on your life and the influence they'll have on your life to come. That's the power of memory. That's why you'll always have a place in my heart. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, Maggie, I've enjoyed our time together, but I've got to let you go. No, man, this is crazy. Why are you doing this? I've got to focus on myself, Maggie. You're lying, aren't you? What? No, I'm not. 
Yes, you are. And we're not finishing things, Norman. We've got a lot ahead of us. But this is for me. Is it for you, or is it for your mother? I knew it. Knew what? It's about her, isn't it? But she's my mother. She doesn't have control over you anymore. What, what does that mean? Because she's... Because she's... Because she's... Because she's what? You need me now, Norman, and I'll make you realise that. Oh, hello, is that Mrs Bates? Hi, th this is Mr Anderson, the district nurse manager of Solling Council. I, I came round the other day. I, I got off on the wrong foot a bit with your son and I apologise for that. But I, I was hoping to talk to you about your future needs and, and hopefully come to, sort, come to some sort of arrangement over your future care. Oh, okay, well, you do understand that this health care is free and will be organised by us to your preference. Yeah, 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 Mrs Bates, our, our primary concern is your health. We're worried that your son is struggling to cope with running such a business and he needs some respite and uh, otherwise your health could be at risk. I'm sorry, I won't be requiring any more of your services. My son has everything under control. Good day. shouldn't be here. Norman, snap out of it! Norman's not here! Don't do this to me! You've been controlling my little boy ever since you wormed your way into his life. Norman, you're scaring me! Well, we can't allow that anymore! What are you talking about? <laughs> if Norman won't get rid of you, I guess I'll have to do that myself. You are not your mother! Yes, I am! No, you're not! Stop lying! Stop lying! I can't be lying to you and it was wrong that I can't be lying anymore! No! No! Stop lying! Mother hates lies! I can't have you lie to her! You can't lie to her because she's dead! She's never coming back! No, she's not! She's not dead! Never hurt you, pardon me. I know. Shh. I know. Shh. Shh. It's okay. 
Okay. Mommy's here. Oh 